Meanwhile, back here in our area, we talked to one Duluth veteran who is looking back on his time over in Iraq 30 years ago today. CBS 3's Ryan Campo has that story. Duluthian John Marshall is lucky to be alive today. I had a couple small fragments uh, that went into my back and uh, fragments are in the membrane of my lung. I got very, very lucky um, because it didn't go all the way through. If it would have gone into the lung, you know, which is we're talking just micrometers, um, you know, and, and I, my, my lungs would have filled up with blood. Not only would Marshall deal with the after effects of being wounded, Marshall is one out of approximately 175 to 210,000 veterans afflicted with Gulf War illness out of the 697,000 who served in the war. Six months after being wounded, uh, I was diagnosed with lymphatic cancer, you know, went to Walter Reed Army Medical Center, spent another six, seven, eight months there. Um, they put me on TDRL status, medically retired me. And despite troops still being in Iraq 30 years later, Marshall is hopeful that one day the killing will come to an end. Human condition is one constant that never changes in this world. Um, so we'll always have war, conflict, hatred, and all the cancers of society. Um, but there's always hope, you know, that uh, we won't be killing each other because war is the absolute worst of humanity. And we thank all vets for their service today. Marshall is now the captain of the Duluth Honor Guard.